Hi guys, I thought I'd show you, it's probably quite a short video because I don't think there's that many features just as yet. <clears throat> as you can see here, it's my Galaxy S4, the GT i9505 version. It's very important that any links that I use, uh, give you it down below, are specifically for this version of the S4. Don't, if you've got a different type, don't flash it. But as you see, I've got Cyanogen Mod 11 running on this. Um, Basically, I was looking for a way to put KitKat onto my Galaxy S4, looking through the different ROMs available, and I think this was the only real one that I could see um, that would do it for me. So uh, I've given it a go for the last day or so. It seems very stable. It's, I don't think it's actually an official uh, ver uh, official port of it. Sorry, an official sound. You might think it is a a port to the uh, the S4, but generally, it seems very smooth and slick. What was that error? Oh, yeah. I'm not quite sure why it keeps getting upset about the time. So, let's give it a moment. Could make it look a bit more... Oh, I won't have them I suppose. I was going to say I could make it... Oh yeah, there you are. Could make it look a bit more Kit Kat-y by putting one of the official Nexus 5 wallpapers on it. So yeah, all in all it seems very smooth. Um, everything generally seems to work. The known issues are in the camera. Let's see. So that looks fine. Oh, I'm recording, I thought I was taking a photo. So video works. Camera works, but what I'm told, oh hang on, how do I get to it? HDR, let's see what happens. Did that actually take a picture? Let's come back out and see if, uh, where's our camera? Oh, I suppose it's in the camera, isn't it? So that's the, uh, in theory, that's the HDR photo. Not looking so good. That was the video and the photo from before. So HDR, broken, unfortunately. I'm told, oh, the other thing was the green lines within the camera. I think that's the, uh, you know, I'm not even entirely sure. No, that's the picture size, went after that. Um, the green lines, I assume, is the, the sort of the grid that you get, and I don't even know... Hmm... I don't even know how you get to them from here. Anyway, uh, yeah, it says green lines on photo camera, I can't tell you what that means. And Wi-Fi Direct apparently is still buggy and perhaps not functional. Now, the reason I said it probably quite a quick video, and maybe I'm missing something, but I can't particularly see, so... We get the other stuff that there is in KitKat. You can change your home screen. Um, themes, I think, is a sound your mod thing. So I've got a couple downloaded. I could apply those. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to stick with the system for now. Um, so interface we do get at the top. Can it work? So it does work with a two finger swipe down. Gets you the sort of KitKat style. Now the only thing that annoys me in KitKat, when you tap it, it opens Wi-Fi, and in Cyanogen Mod, you have to hold down to open Wi-Fi and tapping toggles. So it's it's the reverse of what KitKat does. I don't know why they've done that or why it's like that. Maybe they had it first and KitKat's come in and is different. But you know, let's change it, please. Let's be on the same be on the same page. Um, so we get to we get to alter which tiles are, so this is the slide back and forward bit there, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings, look, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings. You can have more, you can slide them a long way each way. It's quite easy to add and remove, you just hold one down, you can drop it into the delete, or if you want to add one. So the camera might be a bad thing to have in there. You can move its position like so. There's quite a lot of different options of things you can put in 
would be in the notification drawer and the quick setting panel likewise you get a few different options auto close quick pull down so for me I can actually do it from the left so if I swipe on the right I get different to if I swipe on the left now because KitKat does it anyway two fingers always brings you this one down anyway so you could I think you can turn it off as far as yeah you can turn it off as far as um, so now each side will do the same and two fingers will bring down it. You get to change what sound modes it toggles between and things like that, uh, screen time modes. So there's a few settings there in interface. There's not particularly, so you can have it launch music app when you plug in your earphones, vibration intensity. You get the profiles like you do with other sound mods. I don't use them to be honest, so I can't tell you a huge deal about that. Um, you get to set up a side mod account. Um, I've yet to see, actually I've not checked if on, they've got a website or anything, um, but it does tell you you have benefits from it, I'm not entirely sure what. Um, and that's about it, so there's not, I thought usually there was more Sergio Mod options, but then this is a pause, it's not official, maybe when it becomes official they start working on it more, and we'll get those kind of things. Um, but as for now, it is at least a way to to get KitKat on, uh, on your S4. Let's just real quickly switch over to the regular home screen. So now you see you get the Google Now, swipe over to the left. Okay Google, will it rain today? for the rest of the week. So there we go, that's uh, Cyanogen Mod 11 on my Galaxy S4. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.